Hey everybody, this is Pat with Ad Factory, and I want to show you how to use the 20% text tool that we just finished putting into Ad Factory, uh, and hopefully it'll help you make some better Facebook ads and uh, make sure that they're compliant. So let me just start by going into my Teespring campaign here, and I've got an old campaign that I relaunched just for this little tutorial, and you can go over, go over here to your settings, <clears throat> and then pick Ad Factory, and when you come in from Teespring, it'll automatically load your campaign, which is an, another nice little feature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and pick a layout and, you know, let's just pick that one here and I'll go to shirts and I'll pick that shirt and load it. And then I'll pick the women's shirt and load that. Now, um, then I can come up here to the 20% text tool and you see it does this little overlay of all these squares. Now I can come over here and toggle it again and turn it back off or if I'm using the text tool I can just click the, the percentage button there and get rid of the text tool again so I can continue editing my ad. So <clears throat> in Facebook ads normally uh, the text on the shirt or on the product uh, shouldn't count as text sometimes uh, Facebook gets a little overzealous and they do actually count text on a shirt as uh, as part of your ad so if that happens you know you can always appeal it and tell them um, you know that it's that it's part of the product so um, but let's go in here and let's create an ad like um, let's go over here to badges let's create an ad that you would normally create you got a limited edition badge like this and then you want to do a, a button, uh, kind of like uh, click here, and we'll add that as well, okay, just for an example. <clears throat> so let's load up our 20% text tool. Now, 20% of 20% uh, text basically means that anything that's not product that's going to uh, be in the ad can't be, uh, you know, the text can't add up to more than 20% of the area of the ad. So. Teespring uh, calculates this by basically uh, five blocks across, five blocks down. So it's a grid of 25 blocks. So everywhere that you would see text that doesn't belong in the shirt, this doesn't, you know, you wouldn't click this and this and this. So anywhere where text displays in the ad that's not part of the product, you would click like this, click here and click here. And as you can see, that's going to be 16% of <clears throat> of the ad now so it, it that would be uh you know a valid uh, a valid ad you you should be able to get that through facebook's ad guidelines easily enough so how about this what if we go through and we add some text and say you know really long text and we put that down here like this or I tell you what, how about we just do something uh, um, limited edition, get it today for $10 off. Okay, now if we were to go in here and check this out and see if it violated the 20% text rule, you click everywhere where there is text that's not product related. You see we hit 20% and then we hit the limited edition badge there. You hit 28%. So you're going to possibly or more, more likely probably get the ad disproved. So when you're creating your ads, keep in mind um, really uh, five blocks anywhere <clears throat> inside the ad is going to be 20% text. So what I might do is change this limited edition and um, pull that off like that. Oh, I just deleted my text. Limited edition like this, and then maybe some more. Uh, let's see, I'll duplicate that and say not sold in stores. And what I would probably do is drop the ad or the text size down to a little bit smaller like that <clears throat> and let's check out our 20% text tool and see what happens here now you might want to make sure you move the text into the areas where it will fit 
properly in a block like this. And you might be able to get away with doing this in Facebook. Um, I don't know if that would count that little chunk, but you know, we could we could always move that down a little bit. And uh, let's see what happens with that, with our text rule. So that would probably be okay. So just bear this in mind uh, when you're creating your ads. This is, uh, this is how you can uh, make sure that your ads are not going to get uh, disproved in Facebook for the 20% text rule. This isn't uh, a hard guideline. Uh, you know, like I said, Facebook can be kind of arbitrary at times. So, um, you know, this will help you, uh, uh, you know, just test your ads before you build them and go out and launch a bunch of them. So hopefully this will help you out and um, good luck with your ads and your campaigns and we'll see you on the next video.